No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Ah, hello gin lovers! Welcome back to the humble studio of Old Freeman here on No Nonsense Gin Drinking, where today, my friends, we have a gin which people have been asking for this for ages, and I don't know why I haven't got round to it, but I have today. It is a reincarnation of one of the stalwart gins, most popular gins in the world, I think I could safely say. Let me introduce to you, my friends, it is called Tanqueray Malacca. Now, this was actually a, uh, a limited edition brought out by Tanqueray in 1997. However, because of popular demand, they brought it back in 2018. And to be honest, it's a bit of an enigma to me because it's kind of, it's out there. If you want it, you can find it. Well, I certainly could anyway. I don't know about anywhere else, but I could certainly find it fairly easily here in the UK. But for some reason, for some strange reason, you will almost never see, I've never ever seen it in a bar or in a shop, store, supermarket or anything. So I know very little about it. However, I'm hoping to change that in the next few minutes. And the good news is today I've remembered to put my belt on so my trousers won't be falling down. However, it is actually a bit of a shame today because I am employing a pair of novelty underpants. Now, Narissa actually bought these for me, my girlfriend, uh, for Valentine's Day, and I thought you might like to see. So here we go. It's her, her face all over them with some hearts as well. And it just seemed to me a shame that no one gets to see them. So I thought I'd share them with my thousands of fans on YouTube. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You do not get that sort of thing on other YouTube channels. Also, a lot of my regular viewers will know that I always complain about how cold it is in this studio in the winter. In fact, I sometimes have to wear a coat. However, we are now in the middle of British summertime where it's actually way too hot in the studio. And I've got a, a corrugated metal roof here and it acts like a, a radiator constantly sort of beaming heat down onto me. So you'll notice a slight sheen on my forehead today, but, um, Nothing we can do about it, we'll just have to ignore it. Anyway, nonsense over. Let's find out what they say about it on the website, shall we? And unfortunately, this, as I say, it's a bit of an enigma. They don't actually have um, uh, anything about it on the website because it's kind of a little sort of niche uh, product that they do. However, I did some digging. I found a little bit of information which I'm going to impart to you, well, right now, this, this very second. So in 1839, Charles Tanqueray created a spiced gin using botanicals from Malaysia. And it was this recipe that they found in Charles's notebook, which inspired the Tanqueray dis distillers to create Tanqueray Malaysia. Made with peppercorns, rose petals, cloves and cardamom, as well as the four Tanqueray botanicals in Tanqueray London Dry, Tanqueray Malacca has a complex and spicy finish, a bit like me. So that's on the website, and there's also a bit on the back of the bottle which I've taken a picture of because it's way too small to read, but it says Tanqueray Malacca distills Charles Tanqueray's passion for sourcing the finest ingredients. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peppercorn brings an earthy punch, whilst rosy floral notes mellow the edges and cloves create an aromatic warmth. Experience lively botanicals boldly balanced. Discover a bold gin with an exotic taste to match. Now, hmm, that's, that sounds like a right funny old bunch of botanicals for me. Cloves, rose, peppercorn, I'm not sure about this one. I'm gonna go out on a limb, I say I'm not sure. I think I've liked most Tanquerays so far. But, and obviously, you know, Tanqueray is a core product, and especially the, the good old Tanqueray 10 there, sort of uh, premium product. But I'm, I don't want to be negative, but I've got a feeling this one might not quite hit the mark for me. But let's bloody well find out anyway. So then, Tanqueray never have cork tops, do they? So never mind, doesn't matter. We've got no cork test today. However, this is going to be quite an intriguing sniff test, I think. So, oh, blimey, I put quite a bit in there today. Never mind. So here we go. Nose going in. To be honest, doesn't smell that much different to the classic Tanqueray. Where is my Tanqueray bottle? Here it is. Let's have a sniff of that just to reconfirm that. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh no, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. It does taste, it does smell completely different actually. <laughs> Consistently unreliable as usual on this show. It does have a kind of a, like it said, a bit of more of a spiciness to it, a kind of a tingle in the old nostrils, which I'm guessing is that pepperiness. And <laughs> blimey, yeah. Ooh, yes, definitely more of a sort of a scratchy, spicy, peppery kind of, well, that's all you can say about it, really. A bit, a spicier version of the previous uh, uh, standard Tanqueray. So then, we know what's next. We're going to put the old tonic in there and make a little gin and tonic. So a little bit more, I reckon that's about right. So here we go, my friends. Tanqueray, the long-awaited Tanqueray Malacca. I say to you, I'll tell you the ABV in a second. No, I'll tell you it now. It's 41.3%. I say to you, 
Cheers. Oh, ho, ho. well, my friends, I stand corrected. My goodness gracious. I, I don't know why. Th th those botanicals sounded to me a bit kind of uh, cloves and rows and all that. There wasn't much talk of sweetness or um, um, citrusiness in there, which the Tanqueray is known for. But I tell you what, I think that's a big improvement on the original one. Let me, ta let me take you through the journey. One second. Oh, man. So you get kind of a, a juicy sort of citrusiness in the similar way to you do actually in the Tanqueray 10 up there, which uses fresh um, uh, citrus fruits rather than the dried ones. And it doesn't say anything about that, but I'm kind of getting that here as well, that lovely kind of uh, sort of lively, zesty zinginess in there, which is kind of backed up with a, it gives the sort of citrus, a, as I say, a luscious fruitiness and a bit of sweetness, but not too sweet, just a nice, healthy sweetness. Is it possible to have a healthy sweetness? Mm, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. That may come as some surprise to some of you. So you've got all that, but then sort of coming in on a sort of a, a tidal wave afterwards. Well, not a tidal wave, but a small one of those small waves you get in, in, in the, on the British coast. Just lapping up behind that sort of luscious, fruity sweetness is a kind of a lovely crackle of peppery spiciness and I think it gives it a lovely as, as again I'm not a huge fan of the over peppery gin I think it, it can go over the top sometimes I think Lone Wolf did that it was a little bit too peppery however as with most gins when you use things in harmony and perfect balancing they kind of work even flavors you don't you wouldn't you, you thought might not work but the balancing of those two contrasting flavors that fruitiness uh, and that sort of, as I say, kind of a crackly, that's the best way to describe it, spiciness. It's just, they've got them just aligned beautifully. And I tell you what, oh, oh, that, my friends, is definitely better than the original Tanqueray. I think that should be their core product. They should replace it. That should be the Tanqueray from now on. And it's got a little tiger on there. And that, and that kind of, well, I don't know, pleases me. So then, let's give her a go neat, shall we? I've got a feeling it's not going to be good. I think this is definitely a gin and tonic one. As I say with most gins. Let's give it a go anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Christ alive! <laughs> okay, that spiciness and that pepperiness is ramped up hugely really really big the rest of it's kind of brought down it's not massive and juniper heavy either this one to be honest um but oh, i think that's 100 100 a gin and tonic drink because oh man i'm loving it i'm absolutely to be to be absolutely frank i got a little bit bored of the original tanqueray i haven't really gone to it for a while but this could really ignite my tanqueray fire however gin lovers how bloody Ever. Let's talk about price because this little fellow was not cheap, okay? Because uh, old Freeman here, again, I just order most of my stuff off Amazon because it's because uh, it's basically because it's easy, isn't it? That's what we all do. I need to stop to break this damn Amazon chain. However, I did order it from Amazon, and I can tell you now, this costs sixty English pounds. Now that is bloody expect. I think it was actually fifty nine pounds something, but that's sixty pounds in my book, and that is too much. That is too much. You can get it a little bit cheaper, around about £50 mark, but this seems to be available many places as well. So rather than giving you the equivalent, I actually looked on American websites uh, and it's actually $30. Now that doesn't seem very fair because how can we're paying 60 and you're paying like 30 I know that's not the same, but still, I think it works out more for us. In fact, let's find out, shall we? Hang on a second. Let's ask Siri. Here we go. Uh, hey Siri, what is $30 in pounds? That would be 21 pounds and 67 pence. 21 pounds? How on earth do the Americans get it so cheap and we, we have to pay through the nose for it? It's also available in Europe for 23 goddamn euros. So for some annoying reason, oh God, I'm choking to death. It's take, having such an effect on me. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm dying. Ah. But seriously, that's made me mad. We're paying double the price over here in the UK. And I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's based in the UK anyway. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, it's made me rather mad and uh, I'm, I'm, well, well, I'm still going to drink it because it's lovely. So then, guys, I got a little bit bogged down in the price there, a little bit emotional, but uh, let's put the price aside for a second. Let's assume I've been ripped off and you can get it for cheaper over here. That, I don't know why it's such a secretive, uh, sort of uh, elusive drink and why it's not out there more mainstream because it's truly 
truly wonderful. I should just say about the price, by the way, this is a litre, which is slightly bigger than the standard um, 700 uh, bottle, but still, you know, still annoying. And as I said before, the standard Tanqueray, to be honest, I haven't really drunk it. It's sat there on the shelf for ages because there's so many more kind of interesting gins out there. However, I can safely say today, my friends, my uh, passion for Tanqueray has been reignited, and I guarantee me and Nerissa are gonna be smashing through this this evening. And of course, I say to my friends at the Tanqueray Distillery, well, I say friends, they don't know me at all. In fact, they ignore all my emails. But anyway, nonetheless, keep up the good work but bring the price down, you bastards. So guys, that's me done for another day. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, if you go out there and you, uh, and you buy this and you agree with me, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, uh, press the like button on this video, and of course the little bell icon so you get notified when the new videos come out. And if you wanna support the channel, head over to the old Patreon page or press the join button below this video. But until next time, my friends, you know the drill. Take care, stay safe, thank you to all my patrons and members, and keep drinking the gin. That was an elaborate salute today, wasn't it? <laughs>